Chef Buck here and today we are revisiting the Cafe Lissimo paperless pour over coffee filter. I've had this for about 15 months. I'll put a link to a video that I made last year. Although I've had it for 15 months, we were out of the country for a few months, so I didn't use it during that time. So it's been about a year of use, and it's gotten kind of heavy use the last few months because of the travel restrictions and whatnot. We don't go out for coffee anymore, so all the coffee I drink now is at home. But let's test it out after a year and see how it's doing. So I got my water heated up, and it's way too hot, but that's okay. I just got it out of the microwave bubbling, but we'll give it about a minute before I add the uh, coffee in here. As far as the uh, actual filter, you know, after a, a year of use, you can see it's discolored around the top a little bit. And really, that's the only sign of wear and tear. And I'm not sure why it's discoloring like that. I mean, I wash it uh, every time I use it. So maybe it's from the water sitting around there. But I never fill it that, that high. But I mean, other than that, that little bit of discoloration, it kind of looks almost brand new. Now I'm going to go ahead and put as much coffee in here as I usually do, which is three spoonfuls to make me a cup of coffee. And it's a paperless filter, so you don't have to put a filter in here. But a lot of times I do put a filter in here. And then, I'll, and then I'll pour it through the filter because it's easier cleanup. Because that's the thing with this here, is you need to clean it after every use and in a timely fashion. You know, that's what I've been doing the entire time that I've had it. But we'll do this in real time uh, so that you'll see how it's been working out or how the flow is after a year. Uh, but I think my water's cooled down enough because you want your water to be hot but you don't want it to be boiling hot. So I'll put it a little bit in there to get it started. And you can see it's already, you know, it's flowing uh, pretty freely. You know, it's kind of, it, ha it has a nice uh, open, uh, lackadaisical attitude, much like my own, much like my own attitude. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, so once you get it going there, you prime the pump, then we'll go ahead and pour the rest of our water in here and the more water in here the more water weight you have so you know the faster it'll flow like if you just have a little dinky amount of water in there it won't flow as fast and of course it's going to matter how finely ground your coffee is as well uh, we're just using a just a regular grind that I buy in the store now ideally I would like to use uh, coffee that I grind myself but since we're uh, staying at my mother-in-law's and blah, 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 she doesn't have one. We're not buying one because we don't know how long we're going to be here. And I don't carry a coffee grinder as part of my travel kit. But that's basically why I bought this Cafe Lissimo to go in our travel kit. So we take this, you know, whenever we go out, you know, whenever we're traveling in the U.S. But, you know, I didn't pack it to go to Mexico. But you can see the coffee's flowing. And I don't pour all the water in here at once. But that's the last little bit of it. And so we'll just wait until it uh, flows through the grounds and is all through. And then we'll clean it up because I, I generally clean it right after I use it, even before I drink my coffee. I go ahead and clean it and get it out of the way so it's not sitting around with the coffee grounds in it. Because I don't want it to clog up, which is uh, when I was reviewing or when I was uh, researching, you know, to look into buying one of these paperless pour over coffee filters to travel around with. Uh, the number one complaint that people had was that it clogged up, you know, over time and, you know, in a in a shorter period of time that people were unhappy with it but come on down here camera girl but as you can see you know this is uh flowing through to my satisfaction and there i've already got my cup of coffee and like i said i'll leave it real time in the video and we'll see how long that took but now once i i've made my cup of coffee i go ahead and clean it out and this is where it's a pain in the butt because to get the grinds out of here you know, you kind of have to spoon them out because they're kind of wet. It, you won't be able to get enough of it out uh, just by tipping it over and knocking it out of the bottom. Now, if you used a filter in here and just basically use this 
as a support for your filter over the coffee cup, it's a lot easier to clean. And if you don't mind using a paper filter, even though you have a paperless one, then you can do that. But I go ahead and I rinse it out with water and I, and I make sure that I have gotten all of the grinds out of the uh, filter. And then I take a soapy sponge and I just lightly wipe out the inside and around the outside. And I'm not pressing on this too hard. I'm just kind of giving it a little wipe. Because I don't want to, because I don't want to abuse uh, the double filter. There's kind of two mesh filters together. And I don't want to assault the filters too brusquely. I have a very brusque manner. I'm a very bullish, antagonistic personality type person. But I kind of coddle it gently and then that's it and now i just sit it aside to air dry i never put it in a dishwasher i never dry it with a towel that's all i do is i make my coffee give it a wipe boom 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 and then that's it that's how long it takes me to make my coffee and then i put my cream in here to make it creamy dreamy and that's it i got a nice cup of coffee but if you're thinking about getting one you know, I'll have a link down below if you want to go over to Amazon and check it out. It's an affiliate link so I can make uh, uh, a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. I was about to say a wheelbarrow full of money, but yeah, about a cup of coffee. I'll have a link to some other uh, coffee filters over there as well you can check out. They're all about the same price. I think when I got that Cafe Lissimo last year, it was about $17, and it's, it's uh, still about that same price right now. But I'm happy with it. You know, for making one cup of coffee, it's ideal. And as far as it clogging up, I haven't had that issue. But, you know, I'm a little OCD with the cleaning. You know, I'm not, I'm not making my coffee, then going outside and playing uh, badminton all morning. And then coming in here and cleaning it up later after it's gotten all solidified in there. You know, I'm on the ball. So if you like your coffee and you're on the ball then uh, give the Cafe Lucimo pour-over coffee some a try. <laughs> Did that come out smoothly? Alrighty, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.